Hey there, welcome to uh, this episode of Consciousness Empowerment. Uh, this is Miguel Martinez, your host and friend. So I'm going to talk about focusing within and the power within. Okay, so I'm getting my uh, sources right from one intuition because this has been inside of me for this entire week, maybe two weeks to talk about this. I actually had to change and dress differently because I had a like a like a tank top and I'm like, no, I, I can't, you know. So um, it's been inside of me. And second, I have two uh, a source. Uh, two books, one source, Thomas Troward, uh, The Hidden Power, and um, The Edinburgh Lectures on Mental Science. Okay. Um, chapter 9, Causes and Conditions for the Edinburgh Lectures, and the chapter uh, titled Completeness in the book, The Hidden Power. I'm gonna find out what chapter this is. Give me one second, be right back. Six, chapter six, okay. Might as well get my coffee since I got up. Now, completeness and causes and conditions. Now, I gotta lay down some principles right here. The universe has certain principles that it functions on, okay? Three, three qualities that it functions on, okay? That's life, love, and beauty, okay? Life, love, and beauty. Now, we see life in the universe, you know, uh, stars have a life cycle, plants, animals, bacteria have life cycles. Uh, planets have life cycles both and in life life tends to grow and evolve okay, that's the principle okay that's the principle there okay it will never change number two love the universe wants its creations to have more and it's life it wants, it wants the universe to have more life wow Somebody is sawing something outside. If you, if it's, hope it's not too bad. Okay, I apologize. Now, um, what? Hold on, I don't apologize for what? It wasn't me, but you know, ideally, I would like this to have a better quality. Okay, um, beauty. Now, wherever you see life, you you see beauty. Okay. You see beauty in the organization and patterns of life. If you look at water, um, snow crystals, there's patterns in them, right? They're, they're beautiful patterns. Uh, you look at the solar system, they're circular, they're rotating. Everything has an, has an order and that's what makes beauty, okay? There is order. Now, Another beauty part is when we look at the stars, beautiful. We look at the sunset, it's beautiful. When we look at the ocean, it's greatness. It's beautiful. It's awe-inspiring, okay? That's where another aspect of the universe, okay? And that's how it functions, okay? It creates things that are beautiful, okay? When we don't have... The universe working in uh in a field there's absence right negative right it's, it's negative there's nothing there positive grows positive expands shows life okay and there's like organization in there okay <sighs> talking about that I should i should organize my apartment and clean up a little bit uh which i do okay i do that I just you know times you know you get busy in life and they're like, oh man, it's, it's, it's messy over here. I gotta clean up. All right. So now, now that I laid down those three principles, okay, let's go into 
causes and conditions. Okay, causes and conditions. Um, when we're working from universal cause or universal mind or from thoughts, right? We create from inside ourselves, from our thoughts, okay? Our thoughts are not physical. There is no time and space where our thoughts lie, okay? You can call it the spiritual plane. Okay, that's what Thomas Trower calls it, the spiritual plane, okay? The non-physical. Scientists will call it the non-physical, all right? Now, <clears throat> you must let go of the past way of thinking that results are from everything that's outside, that um, things happen outside. Like you gotta change that and adopt the new way of thinking. And you know you've adopted the new way of thinking when you create from the inside and you know that all creation is comes from within, okay? All creation comes with, from within. And of course, uh, there are um, continuous effects, right? Uh, let's do one for fire, right? You say you want to burn a piece of paper that you don't want to see no more or what have you. Burn the piece of paper, right? That's your thought was the cause. The piece of paper on fire is the effect. Now it's physically manifested. It's on fire and you hold it for too long. You get burned. Okay. Now you're hurting. You have a little sore on there. Okay. Now you have to go to get some water and wash your hands or, you know, you know what I mean? You know, clean off your, your hand, you know, put some alcohol or what have you to disinfect it. So, and it goes on and on and on. Um, okay. Now, <clears throat> now that you have that established that all things come from within, okay, you have to understand that you are complete. Okay? You are complete. As the chapter says, um, completeness. All right, completeness. Everything that you want, you can have. You don't need anything out there. All you need is the thought within to get it, okay? Now, there's a part in the other chapter, uh, Causes and Conditions, and I really like what he says because he says, as long as you have your thought, okay? You remember, you get anything because you're complete, okay? Everything you need is inside of you. All power is within you. Then you can relax in knowing that your actions will get you to your result. So all anxieties should be thrown out the window. Okay. Um, of course, it doesn't say it does not mean don't do anything. Of course, take consistent, persistent action. Okay, consistent, persistent action to attain your goal. Okay, and you will get there. And again, I'm not saying that it's gonna be perfect. Okay, I don't know if you've seen that graph that's out there. It's a meme in like the self help community and the business community where people, there's one side that says, oh, people think success goes like this, it goes up, right? But then on the other side, it's like, oh no, it actually goes like this. You know, and there's like ditches and there's spikes and there's like little monsters. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when you have that strong belief, You'll, you'll get there, okay? Because you don't have the whatever. Oh, okay, this is just a little obstacle. I'm going to go over and find out what to do. I'll get there. Um, some of us have that instilled as kids, okay? We can see this in, like, wealthy people, right? Um, they tend to have rich parents or parents who have had businesses. So the kids are instilled in their mind that, hey, I can run a business. I can have this. Sales is nothing. It's, like, secondhand to me. Um there was an interview with Elon Musk where they asked him, where do you seek power and strength? And Elon Musk was like, I don't do that. I just go after it. I say, okay, I want this. Uh, okay, what do I need to do to get it? I don't go out to seek sources of power or inspiration. It's more of, okay, what's gonna work? What doesn't throw that out and do what works? And get the result okay some of us don't need to read this kind of stuff or understand this stuff because they're already instilled as uh, as um you know as kids it's instilled in them you know some people are born with knowing this information okay the kids are putting up vision boards as little kids you know and their parents are telling them hey 
think and feel the results, see the end in your mind. And they're doing this, okay? I've seen people do this with their kids. You know, I was in a, uh, I was in a, uh, a multi-level marketing company called PHP. I was actually in there just to learn, you know, marketing and sales. I just, I was absorbing everything. And back in 2018, I was absorbing everything. And that's why I joined that, that company to learn. I'm like, okay, sales, marketing, I'll we'll learn this stuff, you know, systems and training. Okay, training, okay, I'm, uh, I'm down with that. Okay, so um, that's where I saw that. Okay, and if you don't watch The Secret, in The Secret, um, I think it's John Azeroff. Okay, and my apologies if I butchered his name. Uh, but he, he's the one where he he's, um, talks about his vision board, where his little boy comes into the room and he kicks the box and says, hey, what's in this box? And he goes, oh, it's my vision board. And he tells him about it and how it's done, right? That's a kid who's experiencing the knowledge firsthand from a parent, from a little kid. And imagine, imagine the repetition of explaining to, to your child, you can have anything you want. You can have anything you want. Just visualize it, feel it, and take action, okay? Persistent, consistent action. Take it, take it, take it, and you're going to get there, okay? You can do anything, okay? So now, in this channel, we're learning that, okay? Most people don't do that. It's a small majority who, who do that and um, teach that to their kids, and okay? But uh, what my vision is that we have a world where we, where we understand this, and human race just evolves and progresses at a drastic rate and we're living you know great lives you know we're creating new inventions we're exploring space we're we're getting stronger healthier having more abundance and it's just an amazing experience to be to be human as it already is now okay but it gets even better okay so now um some practical steps right practical steps in my lap in my mastermind um i talked about how do i get into my how do, how do we get into the feeling of the um goal and you want to visualize it okay do it a couple times a day of course don't spend an hour right do take a few minutes a few seconds i mentioned this before I, i've done a few seconds of just closing my eyes and seeing my goal fulfilled and then asking myself, how do I feel now? Okay, so do that, okay? Do it uh, as soon as you wake up and right before you go to bed, stop, visualize, see yourself in possession of your goal. Um, for one of my goals, I see myself talking to somebody and telling them, hey, I reached my goal. What? You, and, and, then, and then the person says, congratulations, I knew you could do it. And I feel like it's already done, you know, I already got it. So, um, See yourself at the end. See yourself at the end. See yourself as like picture it as like a movie. You're you're seeing the end. And it's a happy ending, okay? But you only saw the end. You didn't see what everything what else happened. That's that's how you use visualization. Seeing the end, and then taking the work, and then when you manifest it physically, now you have that deja vu. You see, okay, I did all those steps together. Okay, <laughs> I'm laughing because that's. That's how it happens. Like all the things that I've manifested, like my cab, my truck, my apartment, uh, money. I'm like, oh wow, you know, like <sighs> it's amazing. So I hope you like this one. This video or this message was in me this whole week. Like it came out into my consciousness a few times. Sorry. Right? I sit down and I write down my my content that I'm gonna write um, or ideas. Right. That's how I have content every day. I just sit down right after working out, right after my vibration is high, like my movement, you know, vib vibing, you know, feeling good and moving. Okay, that's when a lot of I get a lot of my my ideas. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm inspired. I have energy, you know, and I get I get the downloads. Okay, 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 okay. So this is a download that that's been coming to me for a long time, um, these past days. Okay. Um, now, if you want more resources, uh, check the description below. I have a few books that I've written. See what resonates with you, okay? If you want a more in-depth daily program, which is like the best to have, uh, check out Bob Proctor's uh, Six Minutes of Success. It's down, down, down below. Highly recommend it. I went through it 
you'll see my comments and some of the, the exercises that you have. People have commented on, on there and I mentioned um, being on the YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah. Hope you like this one. Until next time. Peace.